Now the first type of masonry, type one, we'll see only in the first three buildings. This one, Penasco Blanco Una Vida. And there we don't see corn veneer. Uh, we see stacks, single sandstone, uh, not real shaped, uh, these tabular flat kind of sandstone pieces, and the load-bearing capacity is restricted to the center. Two stories, not much more. If you take a harder stone than the sandstone, and we find their imported tools, and you start chipping at the cliffs, they tend to break in straight lines and right angles. And with that, they created what we now call core and veneer masonry. Veneer, both sides of the walls, will be smooth worked stones. Carefully placed, picked, the uh, core of the building, of the wall, will be uniform pieces of sandstone taken from the same level, so they've got the same density level and some oftentimes the same coloration, but they're not smooth and worked. This is a complex interlocked kind of masonry. And that means they could go up four stories. This is housing for vigas, so three large logs were in here, primary supports for the roof. But there is a room just around the corner here, so when you're coming out through the building, you might check that out, a room where you can go in and see an existing intact ceiling. And you'll see a single viga in that room, big, primary support going all the way across the wall. And then on top of the vigas, the latias, a little bit smaller, closer together. And then on top of that, back in the same direction as the vigas, so it's like a weaving. Bark, closure material, and dirt on top of that. When the sun is low in the winter sky, more of the building is actually exposed to the sun. They did a study a few years ago in which uh, the outside temperature on a near winter's day fluctuated a little over 30 degrees. In one of the rooms, covered rooms of Bonito, in that same period it fluctuated a little over one degree. You wouldn't see all these bricks. It was all plastered over. Every wall we've ever found that wasn't exposed had a thick plaster cast on it. Same stuff as the mortar, mud. Now in some of the rooms where we still see the plaster, and you can see patches of it in a few rooms that were never uncovered, or when they were, they were then protected, has complete plaster on it. Uh, we see it lightened up and painted and all kinds of things. How much of that was the outer building, we don't know. Because every time a wall gets exposed, it doesn't take long for that to just wash away.